Well, that was uh, Gershwin's Three Preludes for Piano. Uh, today's programme is really all about rhythm and particularly different dance rhythms used in classical music. So that was Gershwin using very much uh, the jazz and blues influence of the day. So we're going to move just slightly earlier than Gershwin to the one person who is perhaps we see as most responsible for this syncopation business, and that's Scott Joplin. So I'm going to play one of his most famous marches, and this is the Maple Leaf Rack. Composers have always been influenced by the popular music of their day, and Debussy was no exception. So the next two pieces I'm going to play you both have jazz influences in slightly different ways. The first is The Little Negro, which is um, one of a few versions of Debussy's take on ragtime, and you'll hear that it's very similar to the Scott Joplin in rhythms. Uh, and then after that, a piece called La plus que long, the more than slow. Um, there was a great uh, enthusiasm in fashionable Parisian cafe culture for the slow waltz. So Debussy just thought he would write one that was better than everybody else's, basically. So it's really uh, a beautiful slow jazz waltz. <clears throat>
next I'm going to play a selection from The Dancing Years by Ivan Novello. Um, I think these pieces uh, were probably out of date at the moment that they were written. Um, I think they are deliberately sentimental, deliberately nostalgic, looking back to more uh, peaceful and certainly uh, more uh, affluent times. Um, so actually maybe they're not so out of date after all. Um, the three pieces I'm going to play you are Waltz of My Heart, uh, I Can Give You the Starlight and My Dearest Dear.
beautifully crafted melodies there from Ivan Novello. Uh, Chopin uh, used lots of dance rhythms in his music, um, famously waltzes and mazurkas, but what I'm about to play now is perhaps, uh, for me, one of the most uh, successful uh, rhythms that he used, and that's the, uh, the Polish polonaise. And this is perhaps the most famous one in A major, uh, known as the military. Uh, after that will be um, beautiful slow waltz once more from Eric Satie, his first gymnopoly.
Well, my last set of pieces are the Argentinian dances by uh, the Argentinian composer, Kinastera. Um, I had the great uh, privilege of working in Buenos Aires. I gave two concerts at the Teatro de Colón, which is huge and absolutely terrifying. But everywhere you go, uh, you're surrounded in shops and restaurants and in the street with uh, the tango rhythms. Uh, these pieces never quite give you those exactly as you might expect, but certainly the spirit of the tango is very present. Um, the three pieces are called uh, The Dance of the Old Cowboy. Um, I have to say he's pretty nifty on his feet. He has to stop every now and again and catch his breath, but um, it's pretty fast. Uh, the second is called The Dance of the Beautiful Young Maid, which is self-explanatory. And the last one is the dance of the young cowboy, the young gaucho. Um, and this is marked to be played furioso. <laughs>
Thank you.